Good afternoon. Today we're looking at the Wildex WP480 and how to get to your voicemails and listen to them. We've got the phone in front of us here. This is extension 505 and you can see by the flashing blue light that we have a voicemail. It's telling us on the middle of the display there's a voice message and it's got the indicator as well at the top of the screen to indicate that there's a voice message there. If you come back to your phone and it's looking like this, the simple thing to do is press view and this will give you a list of the voice messages and any that have the asterisks as the top two have here have yet to be listened to. So highlight the one you want to listen to, press play. Once you've played the message, so it goes back to display and the asterisk disappears. So you can easily indicate uh, which one you have or hasn't listened to. Play this one. This is a test message. This is a test message. Again, once you've listened to the message, the phone will go back to the same display it was on. After a couple of seconds, and you'll see that the asterisk has disappeared, so you've now listened to all the voice messages. If you go back to the main display now, the main page, you can see there's no indication of any messages not being listened to. But if you wanted to listen to those messages, if you wanted to remind yourself of what's been on one of them, you can then press the message button here and this takes you to the same page we were just looking at with the messages on. While you're on this page, there's a number of things you can do. If you want to call someone back, you highlight it and press dial on the button here. Or you can press info and it gives you a bit more information on each message, um, who it came from, the time, the duration. And here as well, you can do two things. You can delete the message by pressing the delete button and it's now gone from the system. Or if you go back to the info again, you could forward that message to someone else. So press the forward and then the center check mark. And then whatever uh, extension you want to send it to. And then that message has now been sent to extension 255. So that's how to look at and listen to your list of voice messages, how to forward it and how to delete them.